Teacher Kathy here. Okay, as you can tell from the title, this is an out-school update on flex or self-paced courses and all of the information that has bombshelled us all. I just watched another vid YouTube video from Miss D. She gave a lot of great info, but in case anybody didn't see it or doesn't follow her, I wanted to give my own perspective and information I got from that. So I have read... Well, before I tell you what I found out and what I've read and what I've uh, gleaned from this in my opinion, don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe and the bell because that does really help my channel, okay? It helps me move up there. We are just over 50 subscribers. I'd love to see it hit 100, so help me out by doing that. Okay. All right. So I am going to start from the beginning. Okay, so OutSchool has decided to make some changes. I know there's some changes to the ongoing classes, but I'm not completely clear on what those are yet because I don't have a lot of ongoing classes myself, so I haven't delved a lot of time into those. But for me personally, the Flex classes have started to take off in the last three or four months. I didn't really jump into those right away, and then I've just started listing them, and I'm slowly but surely getting one or two learners here and there. Now, I'm not going to say they're exploding, but I am getting some subscriptions, and or some subscriptions. I am getting some enrollments, and I am seeing some income from that, which has been great. It's been nice. Primarily, most of my income is still one-on-one -on -one classes, but I'm seeing some stuff from the flex. I'm seeing some influx in my income. So, these affected me directly, as many of you. I know many teachers are just earning just their income with these flex classes, and it sucks what they're doing. So what they're doing is first they came out with that they're going to update these flex classes to call them self-paced. And they're going to allow us to put in a syllabus and then upload all of our content at once. And that's okay. I'm not completely on board with that but it's for this reason only. I have reading classes, spelling classes, vocabulary classes. My reading classes are 15 weeks long. My spelling classes are 30 weeks long. My vocabulary classes are 20 weeks long. I do not have all of the content, lessons, games, videos ready for all of those lessons. And for reading, I have K to eight, or first grade to eighth grade. For spelling, I have kindergarten to eighth grade. For vocabulary, I have first grade to 12th grade. So multiply all of those lessons that I have times that many grades. That is a lot of material, okay? I do not have all that material ready. I cannot list all of my classes right away. And they're telling us that within some time frame, I don't know what that time frame is yet, I'm not quite sure, we are going to be forced to any flex classes that do not have enrollments, okay, are going to be unlisted, and we are going to be forced to upload all of that content, and then it will be live for parents to book. If you do not have all of that content listed, your class will go unlisted, and no one will be able to book it anymore. I've always put my classes up and made the content as I got bookings. They're reversing that. And I think that a lot of teachers are doing the same thing. I'm sorry if you heard my dog spark. A lot of teachers, I think, do the same thing and make their content as they get bookings. Why would we want to put in the work for eight grade levels times 15 lessons for each grade level and load it all on the OutSchool website and hope that we get bookings? Or for my spelling class, 30 lessons times eight grade levels. That's a lot. Or for the vocabulary, which is even more, first grade to 12th grade times 20 lessons for each grade. That's absolutely insane. That is a lot of work, and I don't want to do that. And I'm extremely bummed and disheartened that I'm losing this income. I am hoping after the town hall yesterday and all the information they put out that they will take us out, so take a step back. Listen to your teachers, because if we all leave, you're not going to have a website anymore. You're not going to have a, a company. 
um, and and revamp this and and separate it so that way teachers can have the option to upgrade and gradually ease people into this, or make it both make it make it to where teachers can do both. Um, I also don't think that all of the flex classes that are out there are going to work for this new self pace. But let's move on to the next thing. What they put out in the last 24 hours, because they've been telling us about this self pace for about a month, okay? Some teachers are excited, some are not. I can see why some are excited. I'm just not completely on board. But I, I could wrap my head around it and I could ease into it and I can adapt. But the other part is the subscription part. They want to make it so parents can just subscribe to get your content without interaction from you. So, but they've tied it alongside these new self-paced classes. And if you do a self-paced class, you have to do the subscriptions. Not every self-paced class is going to work with subscriptions. Like my writing, my reading and writing classes. For the flex part of it, it is more writing than reading because I'm not hearing the student read, okay, because I'm not meeting with them in person. They have to read the stories on their own and answer the comprehension questions and then choose one of the essay questions to answer and then submit their writing to me for feedback. How are students going to get their feedback on their writing and the subscriptions? That's just not going to work. And I know there are a lot of other writing teachers out there that are saying the same thing. So how is that going to work? I just, I don't understand. And why are we not giving the choice? So to sum it up, they're telling us all flex classes are going to move into the self-paced. Every self-paced class is going to be required to allow subscriptions, which then gives out school access to our content to use it as they want. A lot of teachers said they're not okay with that. Yesterday at the town hall, they said that it is still our content and the content belongs to us teachers and they're not taking it from us. We're just giving them permission to use it how they see fit. I don't know that I'm on board with that and I know a lot of other teachers are not. The other part about the subscriptions, which is really sketchy, besides the fact that it was last minute and it felt like a bombshell that they just threw it at us, is that... The payment structure of the subscriptions, they're not completely explaining it. They tried, but they didn't answer it. But to sum it up the way I understand it is there's a pool of money from all the subscriptions. You get points for as many subscriptions that your content gets. Whoever has the most points gets more money. Whoever has the least amount of points gets less money. This doesn't seem right. It's my content. I should get paid for each download of my content. Yes, OutSchool can have a percentage of it. I agreed to that when I signed up. But why do I only get a percentage of a big pool of money of subscriptions? Why can I not be paid a percentage for each download that has happened to my content? That doesn't seem right, OutSchool. That's like taking it away from me. And you're giving more money to the teachers who get more points because they have stars and ace and blah, blah. It just, I'm never going to get the five-star rating. I'm never going to get the ace thing because it doesn't work with my schedule. The stuff that you have up there for the ace badge doesn't pertain to the content that I teach. I, 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 I get, I, I have a great rating. I, I fluctuate between 4.70 and 4.75. So I'm up there. I'm not a low-end teacher. But every time one parent decides that they don't like something that I've done, they give me a one-star rating. And that dips down my rating really, really low. But I have to have 500 good star ratings to make it go up. That doesn't make any sense either. So there's a lot of teachers that are not our good quality great teachers who have a dedicated student base and you're you're rating us like who's better than the other and I'd rather be a group of teachers who all work together instead of a rating of who's better than the other and to base these subscriptions off of those ratings and we get points for how many subscriptions and then we get a portion of the pool of money it just 
it doesn't sit right with me. It just doesn't. So what I have decided to do with all of this is I've taken one of my classes that I have set at two different age levels. It's a cursive handwriting class. It's only four weeks and I have all the content ready for it. Excuse my yawns. And I have gone ahead and converted that over to self-paced. I'm going to give it a try with that one class. It's two different classes for 14 and up, I think, and then from like 7 to 13. And we're going to see what happens with it. And the rest of them, I'm going to maybe kind of plan behind the scenes, but then maybe I might really up on my ongoing classes again, although that's changed too, so i got to look at and see what the changes are with that, but maybe change them into that and push those again and see if I can get more of those. That's how I started without school. But then the third thing that I'm going to do is I am going to use my website. I do have a website, and I'm going to put my Flux classes up on my website, I think, and give them and promote them so that way I can get people to download them and basically take my content off platform. I don't want to have to do that because I love OutSchool, but I, I don't know if I can get on board with this. I'm just, I'm not okay. And I don't know that all my flex classes are going to work for this. And I know that there's other teachers out there that are like that. So there's a huge turnout for the town hall. They did not address all the questions. I don't know about you, but I left the town hall with more questions than I started with. I did not get them answered. I'm not happy with what they're doing. I'm starting to ease into the self-paced, but the subscription part of it, I think it needs to be separated. I think it needs to be two separate things and give teachers the option to opt in or not. Don't force us. Don't take away our livelihood from our already existing successful flex classes that are earning out school money and us. That's what I think should happen. So I mentioned my website and taking my stuff off platform. If you want to do that, I can help you do that. I am also a virtual assistant, and I'm trying to start my virtual assistant business back up again. I did that before I taught online. And I want to focus on helping online teachers with their online business. I do not have a website where you can load your content to it, but I can show you how I'm doing it on my website for my content so you could do the same for you. And I would love to help you do that. I will give you a first free call for free to ask any questions you want, and we can talk and see how I can help you. My rates are pretty low. It's all on my website, which is below. Check it out. Book a free call with me, and let's talk. Let's see how we can get some of your content on your own website so you can hopefully continue to earn money. Okay? All right, and the great thing is about doing it on your own website, you don't have to give 30% to anybody. You get to keep all of the money that somebody pays for your content. All right, I think that's all I have to say about that. So if you like this video, don't forget to push the like down below and subscribe and click on the bell. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's see if I can get my channel up to 100 subscribers and leave your questions and comments below about what's happening. Let me know how you feel about it. If you make a video, link your channel below. I'd love to go and watch it. I think if we all stick together, we're going to find a way out of this storm, and we're going to figure out how to navigate it the best. All right. See you next time.